Uh, my name is Selim Olchum. Uh, I'm a research scientist at uh, the Koch Institute for Integrative Cancer Research uh, at MIT. I'm working with uh, Scott Manalis. We want to improve the strategies that oncologists use for uh, determining the best therapy option for a specific cancer patient. So the tumor cells in a cancer patient, they continuously grow and divide and increase in numbers. Um, however, when they are taken out of the body, and they usually are during a biopsy, in most cases, they stop increasing in numbers. So in, instead of looking at the number of cells as a marker for evaluating the drug response, we measure the change of mass of individual cells in the presence of that drug. So basically, if, if a cell is resistant to that specific drug, then uh, it will not alter the rate at which it was accumulating mass. Whereas a, a sensitive cell uh, would lose its mass and die eventually. Our technology relies on uh, precisely measuring the mass of the cells for a number of times uh, within a time interval of about 20 minutes as cells grow or shrink in the presence of a, of a drug. For measuring a cell's mass, we use a device called the suspended microchannel resonator, which is basically a miniaturized uh, diving board structure. So imagine yourself on a diving board uh, right before you jump off, you jump up and down, and those motions, the vibrations are really slow. And as soon as you jump off the diving board, the board goes really fast. This is because the, the speed of vibrations of a board like this uh, depends on the mass attached to it. So your mass makes the, the vibrations of the diving board go slow. So we use the same principle, principle for measuring the, the mass of uh, cells. Of course, we use a much smaller diving board in a micro scale. Uh, and our diving board is also special because we have a fluid channel embedded inside our board. That's how we can flow a cell through this board as we monitor its vibrations. So because of the mass of the cells, those vibrations are uh, altered and we measure those changes in vibra vibration speeds and convert them to mass of cells. So this image uh, shows an array of these diving boards. At the top, you can see there is a number of them in their dedicated cavities. And each diving board structure is a mass sensor for us. Each mass sensor is connected to the next one uh, by a serpentine channel. And that serpentine channel, channel allows the cells to grow or shrink in between measurements. As we flow a population of cells that are taken from patients, uh, we expose them to a specific uh, therapy and we monitor how each cell responds to the therapy by maintaining its mass or by losing its mass, which will help us to understand if they are resisted or sensitive to that drug. We hope that we can translate our technology to the use of clinicians as an essay or as a, as a tool for them uh, to use while making decisions for therapy. Uh, and hopefully improve the lives of cancer patients.